Uh, perfect. Next question. Where haven't you surfed that you really want to? Um, I want to surf Skeleton Bay, even though it's freezing cold and <laughs> cold water. How much does Bruce Sanders hate wetsuits? <laughs> no, it's not necessarily the wetsuits. There's like a certain temperature of the water once it gets past it. Yeah. I'm shot. Yeah. My feet go numb and my booties are not good. Like Good hot blood Hawaiian. Yeah. Like, I can barely handle a... Uh, like J Bay. Yeah. You know. So skeleton though, you think you're gonna You know, if you're just it? parking it and you're sitting in the barrel, no biggie. Yeah. Yeah. But uh yeah, that's one place I wanna go to. Uh I wanna go to Panama. Um just focus in that area? Yeah, there's some of those yeah, yeah, beach breaks yeah. like so sick. Uh and then there's you know, there's a lot of ways in Australia I wanna go surf, you know, just there's so many ways that are in you know, I wanna surf. Oh, P Pass. I want to go surf a lot of good ways. I haven't surfed. Dude, I pitched a story to you and Jay at P-Pass. I think it would be insane. I have a ticket. I was supposed to go, yeah. I, I was supposed <laughs> to go on, um, at the end of August, a hur some hurricane trip, me, John, and uh, Koa, and a bunch of us. And the, the, the hours before, the guy's like, it's going to be on shore. So. Yeah. But we, and that place is about as faithful as any way around. Like, we bang, we have a ticket, you know, ready. So we'll have to probably wait till next year. That's got to be a good feeling, though. Just waiting for it to turn on. Yeah. Yes, I want to surf that way. There's so many good. There's so many ways I want to surf. Um, most memorable heat against who and why? Most uh, memorable heat who and why? Probably that you know that well, I lost again, but it was me and my brother and uh, Hasugar we made the final. That was really really cool, you know, feeling. Even though. I should have been more, you know, I was out there going, this is so cool. Look, yeah. two kids from Kauai that, you know, blah, blah, blah. my brother's out there just like, huh, yeah, let me get my two high eights and nines and then I'll, then I'll be friends. Yeah. How but, different was surfing with Andy in the heat against him versus surfing, like, pre-surfing with him for you? Was it, like, the same damn thing? Oh, yeah. It was the same, same, same thing. thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was... It was not, it was, it was competition no matter what, you know what I mean, like, yeah, it's, heats, heats sucked, and free surfs sucked, you know, <laughs> because we're just battling, and he's always a little bit bigger when we're growing up, so he kind of always had the, a little bit of an advantage of yeah. strength on me. I always remember that one wave, I forget, maybe it's in Magnaplasm, where he burns you, and then you sort of hassle him, and he grabs you, or shoves you, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's been many of those where he <laughs> shoots the board at my face. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There's like a, yeah, growing, growing up in Kauai, all of us, uh, we were all like that with each other, you know what I mean? We're all just kind of cutthroat to each other, like. Just kids. Just, yeah, just wanting to see who could go bigger, harder, and who could. You wanted to see her, <laughs> telling your friend to go on waves that are not even close to make well and just laughing. But, you know... Has much uh, changed since then? <laughs> um, I, I think maybe it has. You know, I think people are a little bit more friendly with each other and friends are a little bit more friendly. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, that's how we were growing up and that's how we pushed each other. And I don't change, take it, nothing back. We got one from... Bernie Worley, do you have any desire to surf Mavericks? Speaking of wetsuits. Mm. No, I do not. I, what about Jaws? Yeah, Jaws. I surfed Jaws once. Been nothing, nothing to write home about life's performance. Uh, <laughs> it's like three years ago. But uh, Mavericks, you know what? No, I, I, I don't have any desire. Just I've always that cold water, that waves. That waves, real deal. It's yeah. fucking. No What'd you think about that one day this winter? That crazy session that went down. It's no joke that wave, and you know you got to be on top of your game. You got to be comfortable. I'm not comfortable in wetsuits, and like I've had a phobia. I've had I've had like these weird thoughts about there being caught inside, hyperventilating, cold, and just getting. Yeah. And then you know, on top of it, you know, my good friend passed away. It's, you know, sign out there, but but you know that that, that was not, you know, when it's your time. It's your time, but Mavericks. I like watching it. Yeah. <laughs> I like watching it from a distance, so. <laughs> from a warm boat. But, no, yeah, I don't think, no, I don't think I'm, no, I don't, I don't feel myself in that wetsuit, boot, all that comfortable. Yeah. I don't feel that, I, I, no, thank you. Yeah. I think so, I'm fine. 
So what do you do when you aren't surfing? You cross train with other sports? That's from uh, Parisa Porabrahim. Let me just go for that one. Parisa Porabrahim. Let's see. Want to give that one a hunch? Maybe give her a shout out. Per Peru Parisa? Per Parisa? Oh, she's driving right now. What do you think about the Brazilian storm? Parisa? <laughs> Parisha. She asked about, what was the first question? Uh, what do you do when you aren't surfing? Do you cross train with other sports? Um, when I'm not surfing, I'm usually with my kids, chasing them. Um, no, I, a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I haven't lately. You know, my knee was messed up for like three months, but now they're here at Ruka, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I wonder if they have a gym, you know? They have like training and boxing and stuff. Yeah. I like doing that. And, uh, yeah, Pat just gave us a, a tour. It's like yeah, Peter Pan's yeah, little wonderland back there. They have the most incredible crazy. gym. You walk in there, there's like yeah. big to be Tito Ortiz, like the gnarliest people in there training. You're like, yeah. Oh. So you training here most of the time when you're in town? N I just like, you know, my dad, my dad, oh, yeah, I yeah. for three months, but I did, you know, once I'm, now that I'm here at summertime, yeah, I'm going to start doing it, you know, a lot more. It's fun and, it, you know, it's right here. and it seems like a super like positive environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's like you can do either. There's everything you can do. You know, jujitsu, this, that. You know, I like doing the boxing part because it's just more fun. It's yeah. you know, I don't like jogging or any of that. But um, you know, any little workout's a good workout. Yeah. As long as you get the heart rate up, so I, I try to do that as much as I can. And uh, the next question was the Brazilian storm. Yeah. What do you think about the Brazilian storm? What do I think storm? about the Brazilian storm? I think it's great. You know, what I mean, it's. I, lo I love the fire that those guys have, you know what I mean? Like, I just watched that contest online, and Gabriel Medea, it's, I, I, it's I, real deal. I, I really, <laughs> I like how that kid is on, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the confidence, the con that's what I like, the, you know, the Brazilians, they're, they're out there, you know, I'm not saying the rest of the people don't have it, but, you know, it's, you can, I think you can feel it more with them, it's like, they're, Want to, they're there to win, and by all means, and uh, you know, it's cool, it's passionate, and you know, I'm not, everyone else has that too, but I just you feel it a little bit more of the Brazilians. I don't know why they've always been like that, even the, even the, uh, their fans. Yeah. And you know, just. Did you ever get to surf against Neko or any of those guys? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Neko's Neko's my boy. <laughs> Neko, uh, Peterson Rosa. Yeah. Like yeah, those are. I, I feel love like everybody those loved those dudes. Oh before. yes, love it, love them or hate them. Yeah. You know, but you. I love them. Pedersen, yeah. and Rosa, Neko, uh, Rayoni, and Rayoni is sick. All, you know, all, all those guys are my boys, you know. Flavio, Powder uh, there's a lot. They're cool. Have you yeah. spent much time down there? I feel like... Is that, is that I went, I've, well, I've went there a lot to Brazil. Like, I haven't gone in years, but uh, the, you know, the last time I was down there was... Uh, it was in Mick won this world title, the first one. I was with uh, Miyaki and Parko. It was last year on tour. It was <laughs> sick. Miyaki and Parko stayed together. And, Make one the world title and this is cool. Florinopolis. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Brazil's sick. That was a pretty legendary in the evening. Yeah, it was <laughs> sick. It? it was sick. You know, um, beautiful women. Fun. There's good waves down there too. You know. Yeah. I'm ready to go back. It is. Uh, speaking of good waves, wins the. Uh, this is from Gabrielle uh, Ayun from Grind TV. Uh, desire to surf Kelly's wave pool. Or thoughts on the wave pool in general? Bro, there's a little eye roll there. No? <laughs> yeah, no, actually, yeah. I was, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, to pick a number, I'm sure he's heard that question. Hey, Kelly, can I ride your... I wrote him like, how many times have you heard this? Can I ride your wave pool? <laughs> What's up, Kelly? Perps, what? Hook it up. Yeah. Yes, I want to surf that wave yes, pool. Yes, he wants to. Really bad. And uh, uh, I'm just sitting over here on the bench waiting for my number to get pulled. Yeah. But yeah, you know. I really want to surf that wave pool. It looks really fun, and I think it's... Have you talked to anybody that's got to ride it besides Kelly and this guy? Uh, just Kelly. Um, let's see. What was it? No, I have not. But I, that's just the beginning, I feel. I feel that this this whole thing is going it, to get so nuts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because just pictures? what I've seen, you know, I haven't read about it. You know, Kelly hasn't broke it down to me or nothing, but just looking at it, like, and I've been watching stuff on YouTube prior 
to his, his announcement, like, you know, Weber, uh, is Weber involved? Like, Weber has something really similar to this. Well, Weber's been working on one for a long time. It's very, very similar. And I think that this similar. sort of called all those guys bluffs a little bit, but... Well, well, yeah, the, yeah. But very similar. Very, you yeah. think about the circle thing? Well, first he was, the thing I seen Weber, he was dragging a thing and it go along the sandbar in Australia and it drained a perfect drain away, it looked like that, but then he had the circle thing, but that wasn't working, then... It, I don't know, it's YouTube. There's this. Yeah, I was yeah. just checking out all that stuff, and but then all I, those I seen Kelly's thing, and then it was like, whoa, that he he Kelly did it. Yeah, you know that's that's it, and you know there's you just get a bigger machine with a bigger pulley and deeper <laughs> water, and you got a bigger wave. <laughs> You know, I, I it's like there. it's like watching somebody think about like toys. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then we can make it bigger. I went to that thing in a in a Spain, a, a Spain yacht little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the same thing, I was like telling him, I'm like, why don't you just get a bigger thing, just angle it a little sideways and just, boom. Yeah. And then, there's Kelly. Do you remember where you were when you first saw the video? Like, what did you think of it? Uh, first thing, I was like, you know, instantly I was like going, beep, beep, you know. <laughs> I want to, where is this thing? You know, yeah. What, Kelly? I want to get me in. I'm sure you got him. I'm sure he gets hassled all the time. But, uh. I don't know. I'm. I'm. It's cool that you know it's out there. I think. I think that's the future of surfing. Yeah. As in, uh, competitive surfing and arena surfing and Olympics. I guess if that's you want to put it there. But you know, like, imagine having one of those facilities in every every major state. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like a training facility. So you. Yeah. Know, it, you know, it's 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 good for certain stuff. But then you know, you want to go off the ways. It's a whole different story. But. I did think it's good for practicing certain things that you, know, you can repetitively do, and then you can go put it out in the contest or whatever. But then again, Mother Nature, every wave is different. Yeah. That wave is just perfect. Perfect. Yeah. It's fun. So, yeah, Kelly, what's up? You got my number. <laughs> uh, 